Hey, what's up? My name is Crystal. It does take time to create these videos, so if you're watching, subscribe. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. In this Nogi BJJ rolling commentary, you're gonna learn some very slick purple belt moves that will help your jujitsu game. A principle of guard passing is controlling their legs to get an extremity of yours posted near or on their hip so you can lock their knees to beat their guard retention. Jiu-Jitsu guards include butterfly guard, half butterfly guard, half guard, close guard, and open guard. So I block his bottom knee with mine, then control to pass his top leg, then this happens. He hips in to get inside position on my legs to beat hook sweeps, you must beat their hooks. So I circle towards his head, then quickly change direction to his other side to knee slide. As I remove his knee shield for the knee slide half guard pass, he gets another hook in right here. If you're him and you bridge off your bottom foot and kick your top leg, I'm going ass over tea kettle, my friends. If you watched roll number 034 with Purple Belt Shane, you know this position. Here I'm going for a head and arm half guard pass and watch this sweep counter. My only chance is to get my feet to the other side first before the junk in my trunk hits the mat. Newton's first law states, once the junk is in motion, it will stay in motion. Before he can elevate or sweep me with his butterfly hook, I get off on the first floor by cartwheeling to the other side into my bread and butter half guard passing position with a half guard over hook. From here, something that's absolutely brilliant happens. You're gonna love this. He's like, ma'am, you are in fact riding this elevator sweep to the top floor. This is really cool. Instead of trapping the leg inside of yours in the bottom of half guard, you can use a butterfly hook to sweep from the bottom of half guard, essentially turning the bottom of half guard into being on the bottom of half butterfly guard, which gives you butterfly sweep options with your single leg. <laughs> During this back take, he puts his knee and elbow together to block my top hook so I can't easily back heel his top side hip. Before I can secure back control by wrapping my bottom leg around his waist, he jumps his hips over my bottom leg, which is a great back escape. If you're ever losing back position or didn't get it in the first place, use this belly out technique to regain a dominant position. Uh, for at least one second. To do this neon belly sweep, get control of the far side wrist so they can't post their arm to stop your sweep. Then grab the ankle that's on your belly with your inside hand. 
Then bridge and roll, doing it all very quickly before their knee on belly position is secured, which is key to getting sweeps. Bro, this sumigeshi sweep is beautiful. Look at that perfect corner angle. This move is a corner reversal throw used to counter a single or double leg. I go for a double leg from Turtle and he uses this hook to sweep. This is probably the best I've seen yet. It's such a beautiful sumigeshi. <laughs> Nobody got time for all these sweeps, so I go for a Khabib style smash to get his legs together to pass. Here is a beautiful tripod sweep from X Guard. Okay. If you've watched my channel, you know that if I get a blue or white belt mounted, it's over, okay? High mount is my jam. This is my home. I high mount and triangle or triangle armbar. That's just what I do. Look at this purple belt mount escape. He makes escaping mount look effortless. If you've watched this video and want to show love for the hours it takes to create jujitsu commentaries, subscribe to tell me thank you. I really appreciate it. So here's the entire round of minimal edits and seeing the jujitsu technique in real time and knowing the what and why from what was explained earlier in the videos definitely helps your learning process. It also helps when you independently recall reactions. Like for example, what sweep is used to counter a double leg? What move is the answer to when they post on your armpit to escape your side control? What is the leg configuration to sweep from half guard? What is the first step to sweep from the bottom of neon belly? All right, so <laughs> these are just some questions that you can remember the answer to. So enjoy and I will see you at the end of this round. Look what I'm whipping up. This is America. 
know? Yeah, this is America. Guns in my area. I got the strap. I gotta carry them. Yeah, yeah, I'ma go into this. Yeah, yeah, this is Gorilla. Yeah, yeah, I'ma go get the bag. Yeah, yeah, or I'ma get the bag. About the robbery that I did last week. Money in the bag, banker look like a drag. I wanna play with pelicans from here to Baghdad. One last thing fast, I think I'm hit. My girl hits my hips to see if I still exist. I think not. I'll send a letter to my friends. A born again, who again? A born again, who again? A born again, who again? Ready or not? It was really great spending time with you. Remember, in jiu-jitsu, there's a solution for every question. Looking at every position with either a neutral or positive emotion is key. Like for example, if I felt hopeless about defending sweep, it would make realizing the solutions a longer and more difficult process. So it's important to have a good emotional IQ regarding yourself and always be reaching for a slightly better feeling thought. For example, if my first thought was, I suck, <laughs> Um, I always get swept. A slightly better feeling thought would be, this is all just data that I can learn from. And every sweep is teaching me something more about jujitsu and feeding my desire to become better. So remember, you're getting better every day. And I'm telling you this because it's something that I had to learn. Um, I remember the first time that I had to create the problem statement of I can't escape side control or I'm having difficulty escaping side control when I was a white belt. It almost, for some reason, it like I was very emotional about it. Of course, I didn't let anybody see that, but inside, <laughs> I felt too emotional about it and it was looking at it from a different perspective that really helped me understand how to learn jujitsu. So thank you so much for watching and until next time, love you. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe and until next time, bye. Not, here I come, you can't hide. Gonna find you and take it slowly. You can't run away from these stars I got, oh baby. Hey baby, cause I got a lot, oh yeah. And anyway.